Welcome back to Let's Talk Live. Have you heard about robo-advisors? The growth of these automated investment advice platforms is the topic at just about every conference in the financial advising industry in recent months, but robo-advisors can be a very bad idea. Certified financial planner Brian Beatty, a partner at the Tyson's Corner-based financial services firm of Egan, Berger & Weiner, LLC, is here today to explain why. Welcome. Thanks. I'm really interested to learn about this. Why don't we start with explaining to people at home what robo-advisors are sure. if they don't know. Sure. So robo-advisors are internet-based, algorithm-driven portfolio management tools. So you go online, you answer a few questions about your attitude towards risk, maybe how long it is that you're going to have your money invested and it pops out a portfolio uh, suggestion for you. In many cases, it opens an account and uh, invest your money right away. So you're never talking to a human? Most cases, you don't talk to right. a human. And you're taking all your hard-earned money and letting the computer figure out what you should do with it. So that's, that's pretty much how do. it works, yeah. Okay, so now that we know what that is, how is it different than working with a real face-to-face -face person? So when you, work to, when you work with a financial advisor, they're gonna ask you a lot of things about your life, about your family, about how you made your money, how you feel about losing money, what your tolerance is. More away from numbers and more towards what if you couldn't accomplish one goal or another goal and prioritize your goals for me. What if you can't achieve this goal? Wh which one would come first? Sure, and what you want to do with your, where you want to see yourself go. And really, working with a financial advisor, it's a long term thing. It's not just a type some things in there, it's a journey. Well, hopefully, it's a relationship. Right. I, I hope you're not having a relationship with your robo advisor. Exactly. <laughs> Be difficult to yeah, do. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so, how can, uh, you know, going on to one of these robo websites, just be a disaster for you, a, a mistake. And well, how much can it cost you? I think that's an excellent way to put it. How much can it cost you? So if you make the wrong selection with your Social Security, um, as far as not maximizing your benefit, if you can afford to wait, which requires, uh, you know, having an actual well thought out plan, as, as if you can wait. Mm -hmm. But if you don't wait, it can cost you as much as a hundred thousand dollars of lost benefits. Uh, a robo advisor is not going to go through a Social Security analysis with you. And that's something that you guys do. And what would you say to people that maybe have already gotten themselves involved in one of these situations? Is it too late to get out? Well, what I would ask people to think about is whether or not when the markets go crazy, for example, in the last six to, to eight months, um, are you likely to act um, more quickly because someone isn't there to consult with you at the moment that you're feeling like you should sell out of the market? Um, and, and with that, we're really talking about how people act. I think people understand uh, finance to some degree, but there's this behavioral finance. Explain that to me, because I don't know what that means. Well, it's how people understand money. Um, many people will tell you that they can take a 10% drop in the stock market, but when it happens in two weeks, um, fund flows tell us that people leave the market at those times. In fact, the average investor tends to lose not because they didn't invest in the first place, but because they moved their money around at the wrong time. In fact, fund flows show that more money moved out of the market in the last two quarters than moved out in, the, in uh, any time since 2008. Wow. So what is your advice to people that are watching at home right now that are saying, I need to get involved with a financial advisor? And how it is so easy to just go online. Sure. We see it all the time, the ads all over the place. How do you avoid that and, and what should they do? Well, one thing you want to make sure you do is you work with a fiduciary. That is somebody who puts your interests before their own, uh, someone who's transparent with how they operate, uh, and they disclose all of the potential conflicts. And make sure you get a financial plan. Don't get just an investment. Investment is a, uh, a way to manage money and a way to deliver a plan's outcome, but it's only one component of a financial plan. And any age, is it never, it's never too late to start, correct? Well, it's never too early to start. Never too early to start, It's definitely rather. never too late to improve right. your financial plan. Don't think that you can't improve it and therefore do nothing. Right. Um, you can actually help yourself every stage of your life, whether you're just beginning a family, whether you just bought your first home, switching careers. No matter what uh, part of your life you're in, a financial plan will actually take you to your final destination, wherever that might be. Well, I always say you wouldn't like trust a doctor, you know, somebody that wasn't a doctor with your right. health. Yeah. Why are you letting someone that isn't an expert with your money? You know, like trust uh, the experts. I couldn't say it. I couldn't yeah. say it any better. Yeah. We I, I, again, I hear it all the time. People are like, I'm not going to tell somebody, have somebody tell me what to do with my money. Well, yeah, but I don't know what to do with my money. Right. I'm, I'm clearly not doing it right. So, right. well, thank you. I think it's great advice, and stay away from those robo advisors. Bad stuff out there. And for more information on the growth of automated investment advice platforms, visit ebwllc.com or go to ebwfinancialnews.com. You can even call 703-506-0030 right now and actually talk to a human. All right, stay with us. We have more of Let's Talk Live coming up in just a bit.